Well, I mean, we all are pitching in, doing what we can to help the team. Um, this is a very competitive Senate race, uh, one that we think we can win, and one that could help determine the majority in the United States Senate. Hi, I'm Kiza Williams, video director at the Badger Herald, and today I am at Eric Hovde's collaboration with the American Conservation Coalition Action Talk. Today they will be talking about how conservation is conservatism. So let's see what the people have to say. My name is Thomas Pyle. I'm the chairman of College Republicans, um, and I'm here today to help put on this Eric Hovde event. Uh, it's really a great opportunity for students to get to speak firsthand with a Senate candidate. Um, we don't have that very often, um, so I think it's really a great chance for students to learn and kind of see what Hubdi is all about, especially about environmental issues. My name is Benjamin Rodoff. I'm the vice chair of the UW-Madison College Republicans, and we're here today hosting Eric Hovde and Senate Minority Whip John Thune. Uh, the road to winning the White House in 2024 comes through Wisconsin, and the ma Senate majority is dependent on Eric Hovde or other swing state candidates winning. I am John Thune. I represent South Dakota in the United States Senate, and I am here on behalf of Eric Hovde, who is our Republican candidate for the Senate state of Wisconsin. And so um, I serve in the, as a leadership position in the United States Senate, and we're hoping we can flip the majority and get a Republican majority there. And, um, and do some good things for the country. So we want to come here and do everything we can to help Eric as much as possible. He's run a great campaign. He's working really hard. And uh, he's just got to push through the tape. We're a week away from the election, but uh, things feel good on the ground. So we'll see what happens. I travel across the Midwest building a grassroots movement of conservative environmentalists. ACC Action is the largest conservative environmental organization in the country. We've got 50,000 members across about 100 campuses and communities. We at ACC Action believe in a very positive, optimistic, um, solution-driven approach. Um, there is a lot of policies that we can't get behind that, um, I mean, we're, we're very clearly a conservative organization. ACC Action has, re has released endorsements and um, Air Covdy we haven't endorsed. Um, what I would say to anybody is this is why organizations like ACC Action are out there. We're trying to educate people on um, conservative environmental principles. Uh, we're giving Eric Hovde the chance to share what he believes um, and I, I think it closely aligns with uh, ACC Action's vision for the future but we're going to allow voters to make that decision themselves. The guy who established the Environmental Protection Agency was a Republican president named Richard Nixon. Before that, the national parks were the work of Theodore Roosevelt. Uh, the Republican Party has a long history of conservation and pro-environmental policies. So we're making sure to bring the party back to that. Uh, yeah, I am Mark Berger. I am currently a senior at UW Madison studying journalism and sports communication. I am here to show my support for Eric Hovde tonight. Well, I support Eric Hovde because he definitely uh, speaks the truth. He definitely has a good, a lot of great ideas with the economy and the border crisis that has currently gone on, which has been quite a disaster. But, you know, I think Eric Hovde has a lot of great conservative values that I share, whether it comes to abortion or the border or the economy, which are my three biggest issues, he definitely follows me on that. I think the two issues that really are resonating with people across the country, and I think you're with the voters in Wisconsin right now, are high prices and open borders. And I think those are both uh, issues that work really well for uh, Eric Hubde because uh, his opponent, obviously, is part of those who have enabled this administration, the Biden-Harris administration, uh, on the border, which is a, is a disaster by any uh, objective measurement, and, uh, and inflation, which has driven up the cost of everything in our economy, whether it's groceries or gas or electricity or housing. And uh, I would expect that a lot of college students uh, are feeling that on a daily basis. So I think those issues are going to really resonate with voters here in Wisconsin and across the country. Um, but we're going to find out a week from today. For me, I think it's important for me to have my views out there now. I think a lot of people may read it and be like, oh, Mark is a you-know-what, Mark is a this, Mark is a that. But, you know, that's just part of the free speech world we live in. People are going to verbally go at each other. That's just the politics, you know. It doesn't really bother me all that much. I just kind of say, hey, it's your free speech. Say what you want, I'll say what I want, right? That's how it goes. Um, I think we've done a lot of work with Adidas students on creating the free expression uh, coursework for all freshmen. And I think that's been a really big difference. Uh, we obviously have a, a couple occasional glares and arguments and stuff like that with people who come up to us. But for the most part, it's very respectful. Uh, and I think students on both sides of the political aisle have learned a lot. I think the fact that he's a newcomer and he's willing to throw his hat in the ring in a race where he's not the incumbent. That is, you know, that takes courage to do, especially in a state where Tammy Baldwin has won by such historic margins. 
I think the attack ads trying to frame it as not being a quote unquote true Wisconsinite are very disingenuous. You know, as he attended high school in Madison, he studied at UW Madison for undergrad, and he does he does invest and own properties in Wisconsin and in Madison specifically. I think, you know, it would be just as phony if Eric Hovde did an ad about Tammy Baldwin where he was like, oh, she went to a college out east. She's not a true Wisconsinite. She only went to Wisconsin Law School. You know, they're both from Wisconsin. I think we should try to avoid those kind of disingenuous and bad faith attacks. I mean, we're not talking to the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel anymore because they are an extension of the Tammy Baldwin campaign. Everything they do is gotcha journalism. This guy tried to talk to Eric after we already said that we're not talking to that paper anymore. And then he proved our point, pulling out some letter that's 20 years old, trying to catch Eric in something because they're just an extension of the Democratic Party. I mean, journalism in this country is dead because most media outlets have just become liberal outlets for Democratic campaigns. And, you know, we Republicans, conservatives, can't get a fair shake. I think a lot of it has to do with journalism schools, to be honest with you. I think that um, a lot of the folks coming out of journalism schools are more liberal because they have a lot of liberal professors. Mm. And um, I don't know. It's sad because I think the media should be a place that provides facts for voters to be able to make good decisions. And you just can't get that right now in most media outlets. Try to remove your political biases from your work and try to look at things objectively based on facts and you know try to provide a useful resource for for voters so that they can make objective decisions um, on their own based on the facts that you're reporting.